if you could perhaps spread out a little bit, uh, the whole thing goes online and uh, just leave one free space, one free chair uh, between you, okay? Please spread out a little bit, okay? Test microfono, test, test microfono, test, test, test. Jeden, dwa, trzy, cztery, pięć, sześć. Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Łukasz Machaj. I'm the Deputy Dean for uh, Education and uh, Evaluation. Uh, let me welcome uh, all of you, both people who are present here in the, in the classroom and people who listen to us online. Due to uh, the particularities of time we happen to live in, more people are probably online that uh, are uh, present here, but Hopefully this is all going to change and more people will, uh, uh, will uh, consecutively uh, show up. Um, uh, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the Faculty of Law, Administration and Economics uh, at the University of Wrocław. Uh, we are very glad that you have put your trust in us, uh, that you trust that you will receive a good education here. Uh, the development of our English language programs in recent years has been quite significant, quite considerable, and both from the number standpoint and from the quality standpoint. And it's been a source of great pride and satisfaction for all people involved in this process, myself uh, included. Uh, I wish to uh, express my hope that the next two, three, depending on your program, years of your life will be very enriching from the, from the education standpoint, primarily, that you are going to gain uh, knowledge and skills that will allow you to thrive in the labor market in the, in the future. But perhaps uh, of equal importance is uh, the ability to take full advantage of what university life has to offer, including striking up lifelong friendships, uh, having unforgettable and vigorous debates, breathing in the whole atmosphere of university life, uh, especially our English language programs, which give us an opportunity to meet people coming from different cultures, uh, different nationalities, different ethnic groups. They provide especially a great opportunity for such mutual enrichment. Uh, without further ado, uh, I don't particularly enjoy long speeches. Uh, let me first make uh, a few uh, introductions. Uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce Miss uh, Małgorzata Guzek and Miss Agata Młyńczyk. Please remove them. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, those are uh, employees of the uh, working at the uh, students of problems, any issues, any questions. Uh, regarding the formal aspect of your functioning at the university, you go to them. Uh, so that's our sort of first line of defense. Uh, the second line of defense, most of you, you are already familiar uh, with uh, the coordinators. Here we have Dr. Mariusz Dybał, who is the coordinator for BBA and LLM uh, programs. Uh, and uh, Ms. Alicia Cielska, who couldn't be with us today, but she uh, in person, but 
she is online, right? Okay, so she is online and she will be answering online queries from uh, from uh, people who are who are absent. Uh, she is the, the coordinator for uh, criminal justice for uh, 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 administration international organizations and for master of managerial economics. If you face any more complicated uh, any issues that are more complicated than the ones that can be uh, solved by uh, Ms. Guzek and Ms. Uh, Muinczyk, you go to coordinators, especially, well, it can happen, right? If you have any substantive problems, uh, if you uh, need some maybe suggestion, maybe advice, if there is a problem with a teacher, who knows, it doesn't happen very often, it doesn't even happen uh, rarely, it happens very, very rarely, but it can happen, uh, you go to them. And of course, I'm always available for you, well, within reason, of course. I'm always available by email. You can email me and I usually respond on the same day, uh, at, le at the very least within 24 hours. So if you face any issues, you can, uh, you can contact me, uh, contact me uh, as well. Uh, I will uh, remain in the vicinity of this classroom throughout the rest of the ceremony uh, and I will be a uh, available to answer any questions you may have uh, you may have later but for now let me uh, give up the floor and give up the mic to Dr. Dipal. Thank you and once again welcome to the university. <coughs> uh, thank you Dean for your welcome words. Uh, let's please give me uh, with the time I will just tell you about the, uh, the agenda that we're going to, uh, to follow today. So there were the walking words. Now uh, we then we'll move to the, uh, to the wall because in order to be you know, officially the part of our community, you have to make the wall. So that, uh, that's going to be a second point. Then there will be the um, uh, place for Dr. Uh, Dobromiła Nowicka. She is the anti-discrimination officer. She prepared some information for you as well. Uh, then let's see what we've got. Then some organization issue, I prepare some short pre presentation around tw 20 slides that could be quite imp important for you regarding how you know to have the access to the USOS and so on and so on just for the few days. Uh, and then we'll uh, have also some words from the, uh, from the students uh, service office. So the ladies have been already introduced by, uh, by the dean. Uh, well, we have reserved that hall for the uh, three hours, I presume, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to to finish uh, 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 earlier, uh, uh, much earlier. So, okay, so let's let's make the vote. So please stand up and please speak with me, okay? Okay, ready? So let's go. In my capacity as a student of the University of Wrocław, I do hereby vote to acquire knowledge and skills, behave in accordance with the laws, traditions, and good academic customs, preserve the good name of the University of Wrocław, and be on the guard of student dignity. Thank you very much. Now, officially, you became the member of our co community. Uh, now, I will give the floor to Dr. Uh, Dobromiła Nowicka. So, like I told you, she's an anti discrimination officer and she prepared some, uh, some issues for you. Please give me a few minutes, seconds.
Okay, so I think we will start anyway. Uh, and I hope with the presentation it's going to be okay in a few minutes. Should be on? Can you all hear me? So hello once again. My name is Dobromiła Nowicka. I am the Dean's representative for equal treatment and anti-discrimination at our faculty. Uh, together with me today was supposed to be my colleague who takes care for safety of students and PhD students, but he couldn't join us today. So I will also give you an email to him if I have something to write. I do. Just in case of some safety risks. Closer, yes, now it's better. Okay, so uh, we were supposed to start uh, from a few words from um, the mm, rector of our university, but we will have to wait a bit for it, I think. Um, because he also prepared, he wanted to be with you today, only not in person, of course, because he couldn't do it with all students for our university. It's quite a big university, as you, can, uh, as you know. And today I would just like to briefly introduce you into our system of protection against discrimination, against unequal treatment, and also what you can do and tell you what you can do <coughs> if there are any other risks to your safety, yes? S safety in a very, very broad meaning of the sense, not only against some physical attacks, of course, but also safety on this emotional, on the psychological level. So um, I think we're gonna Presentation. This presentation was prepared by the Ombudsman for Equal Treatment and Anti-Discrimination um, in our university, together with Rector's Representative for Safety of Students and PhD Students, with a support of Communication Department. And I was supposed to use it today with all these films, because there are films uh, from the Rector, from Professor Wyszewski, from the Ombudsman, and also uh, Rector's Representative for Safety. Uh, but I don't know if it is possible right now, so we will, I think, just uh, two minutes. Okay. Okay, uh, so maybe we will start with um, these uh, very, very um, general uh, things about safety, dignity, and equality. These are things, these are values of our university, and we really want to protect them, to protect you from being treated unequally, or discriminated, or you feeling just uh, threatened by some. I think we can start as we should. Okay. So yes. So now we can. No, chyba nie do końca, bo filmik się nie uruchamia. To są linki. Tak miliony 168 tysięcy w ciągu jednego roku sprzedając towar, którego technicznie nie mamy. Kochani, czy zastanawialiście się, co to jest uniwersytet? Uniwersytet to przede wszystkim wspólnota. Wspólnota, która skupia się na poznawaniu rzeczywistości w sposób racjonalny, ale skupia się także na tym, żeby być razem. Jeżeli chcemy zdobywać nową, kreatywną wiedzę, jeżeli chcemy pokazywać ją innym, to musimy być razem. Studiowanie to nie tylko obecność na zajęciach, to także nie tylko wizyty w bibliotece czy w laboratoriach. Studiowanie to interakcje, to bycie razem, spotykacie się, dyskutujecie, wymieniacie się poglądami, chodzicie na koncerty, zabawy, cokolwiek, ale jesteście razem. Tworzycie wspólnotę, ale też razem, wraz z uniwersytetem dojrzewacie, zdobywacie nowe umiejętności, ale trzeba być razem. Żeby być razem w tych trudnych czasach musimy czuć się bezpieczni. Jedyną drogą, jaką mamy w tej chwili, to szczepienia. Jeżeli nie będziecie się szczepić, jeśli nie będziemy zaszczepieni, to niestety nie będziemy mogli funkcjonować razem tak, jak tego byśmy chcieli. Ale ja wierzę, że Uniwersytet Wrocławski to wspólnota ludzi odpowiedzialnych. Nie tylko wykształconych, ale przede wszystkim odpowiedzialnych. Że wszyscy tak, jak jesteśmy, będziemy o siebie dbali. Dlatego bardzo Was proszę, szczepcie się. Nie tylko dla siebie, nie tylko dla swojej rodziny, ale także dla swoich koleżanek, i kolegów. Uniwersytet Wrocławski to także uniwersytet badawczy, a to znaczy racjonalny. Taki, który opiera się nad stałym 
tworzeniu wiedzy, kreatywnym jej zdobywaniu, ale jednocześnie jest otwarty, porozumiewa się z całym światem. Zapraszamy Was do tworzenia świata, do poznawania przyszłości. Zapraszamy Was, żebyście byli razem z nami po to, żeby tą przyszłość zobaczyć i pokazać ją innym. Bądźcie z nami. As you have already noticed, the rector said that we are a community, and I think it is quite clear for all of us. And as a community, for the reason I am here for uh, again. Now? Okay. Um, I need to get used to it, <laughs> so sorry. Um, and uh, I think this community, um, in this uh, context of uh, equal treatment, means mostly that we need to take care of relation between, between members of this community. So here, as uh, you joined this community, academic com community today, we would like to also um, tell you about some very, very ground rules that you are also expected to follow now being a member of it. So our mission and aims, as you can see, it is all about having this equal treatment, about um, protecting an individual's um, mm, also uh, against discrimination, so individuals' dignity, but it doesn't mean that we want to suppress freedom of speech, of course not. Uh, it is all, at university it is all about freedom of speech, free academic discussion, about presenting your standpoints, your views of different sorts, of also political and other, other views, of course, but we need to do it with respect, with respect to other people and other views too. So we do not tolerate discrimination, we do not tol tolerate hate speech, any sort of harassment and improper um, behaviors, behaviors like this. I will talk about these uh, behaviors a little bit later, now just uh, to give you uh, just a um, first glimpse on this. So uh, here, no, of course, no violence, including verbal and non-verbal violence. And now we will listen to a few words from the Ombudsman, Różnorodność jest kwestią kluczową na Uniwersytecie Wrocławskim. Dlaczego? Dlatego, że tylko z różnorodnego uniwersytetu, który czerpie z każdej części swojego społeczeństwa, ta, ta siła może prowadzić do tego, że będziemy dążyć do doskonałości naukowej i ed edukacyjnej. Tylko osoby wolne od e, dyskryminacji będą doskonali szlifować swoje talenty z korzyścią dla siebie, ale też dla nas, dla Uniwersytetu Wrocławskiego. Dlatego też podejmujemy działania i będziemy podejmować działania, które zmierzają do wyrównywania szans i do tego, żeby Uniwersytet Wrocławski był mozaiką całej naszej społeczności. Pamiętajmy, że równy Uniwersytet Wrocławski to przede wszystkim ludzie. Dlatego też rektor Uniwersytetu Wrocławskiego prowadził innowacyjną procedurę przeciwdziałania dyskryminacji oraz sieć instytucji, które będą wspierać równość i równe szanse wszystkich naszych studentów. Mamy więc instrumenty i mamy więc instytucje do tego, żeby każdy miał równe szanse na naszym Uniwersytecie. Budując ten system Czerpaliśmy z najlepszych doświadczeń e, uniwersytetów takich jak Oxford, Harvard, oczywiście przy poszanowaniu naszych regulacji, naszych krajowych przepisów prawnych. Krótko mówiąc, jeżeli student XY czuje, że jego wartości są zagrożone e, bądź mogą być zagrożone, bo na przykład z powodu e, narodowości, z powodu na przykład religii, z powodu płci, z powodu orientacji seksualnej jest gorzej traktowany, bo na przykład odbiera mu się głos w dyskusji. W takiej sytuacji pamiętaj, że na każdym wydziale znajdziesz pełnomocniczkę lub pełnomocnika do spraw równego traktowania. Poznasz ich w trakcie dni adaptacyjnych. Te osoby ci pomogą. Przy zastosowaniu innowacyjnych metod sprawiedliwości naprawczej spowodują przywrócenie stanu zgodnego z wartościami akademickimi. Pamiętaj też i nie bądź obojętny na krzywdę innych. Jeżeli byłeś świadkiem naruszenia wartości akademickich, zgłoś się również do pełnomocników. Oni przy 
poszanowaniu poufności, ale też ochronie osoby sygnalizującej rozwiążą ten problem i znowu po, pozwolą powrócić do stanu zgodnego z wartościami uniwersyteckimi. Na koniec chciałbym wyraźnie podkreślić, Uniwersytet Wrocławski będzie miejscem przyjaznym i równościowym, jeżeli wszyscy o to zadbamy. Dlatego wspieramy hashtag równy UWR. Yes, so where to find help in case of uh, being a victim or just witnessing behaviors that are improper that uh, are not going that do not go along with university's values of equity of dignity of respecting one's d dignity please uh, contact us i <laughs> i will rewrite these later these uh, um, emails but uh, i am here for you uh, when it uh, concerns some kind of unequal treatment or something that you may feel uh, that is improper you are not uh, even even if you are not sure if this is discrimination or not yet you can just contact me i will just look into the case and try to help the same with cases concerning safety to my colleague that is uh, dr jan gola uh, also i will also rewrite later these um these emails and now we will listen to a few words from uh, rector's representative for safety of students and phd students Drodzy studenci i doktoranci, e, mam przyjemność pełnić rolę pełnomocniczki rektora do spraw bezpieczeństwa studentów i doktorantów e, i przewodniczyć sieci e, wydziałowych pełnomocników do spraw waszego bezpieczeństwa. Bardzo się cieszę, że wracacie na uczelnię, choć rozumiem i wiem, że wiąże się z tym wiele trudności, z którymi pewnie przyjdzie wam się borykać. Dlatego, e, dlatego w ramach sieci bezpieczeństwa Uniwersytetu Wrocławskiego, którą dla was tworzymy i e, współpracując z siecią równości Uniwersytetu Wrocławskiego, chcemy sprawić, żeby ten wasz pobyt w Uniwersytecie Wrocławskim był bardzo bezpiecznym okresem, żebyście bardzo dobrze ten okres mogli wspominać. Jeżeli macie jakiekolwiek problemy, gorąco zachęcam Was do kontaktu ze mną albo, lub może można powiedzieć przede wszystkim, z pełnomocnikami wydziałowymi, którzy działają przy każdym dziekanie na 10 wydziałach Uniwersytetu Wrocławskiego. Pełnomocnicy pełnią funkcję takich hubów informacyjnych, którzy będą przekazywać Wam informacje, oferować Wam wsparcie w trudnych, problematycznych sytuacjach. Otwieramy także dla Was stronę pomocy do Uniwersytetu Wrocławski. Tam znajdziecie wszystkie informacje pomocowe, ale pytajcie, zwracajcie się do nas z problemami. Chcemy razem z Wami te problemy rozwiązywać. Mam nadzieję, że ten rok akademicki 2021-2022 będzie jednym z najpiękniejszych roków w Waszym życiu, a wszystkie następne będą już tylko piękniejsze. We really had two networks. One is for equality and anti-discrimination, the other one for safety. But we really cooperate. We, we do almost everything together, yes? Because most of the time, um, when it is about discrimination, about um, some unequal treatment, it is also a threat to your safety, yes, on some level. So we cooperate with ombudsman, well, I cooperate as a faculty representative, as dean representative uh, with ombudsman, the same as my colleague, Dr. Gola, um, as a dean uh, s representative for safety of students and PhD students. He also cooperates very, very strictly with Rexus representative for safety of students and PhD students, but we also cooperate within the faculty um, Dr. Gola and I also um, cooperate so that uh, if you contact me and it, it, the case really concerns more safety than discrimination, I will also share this with him and he will also uh, take care of this case. So it really doesn't matter who you contact first, but uh, it's very, very important to contact at all because if we do not know the problem is, we cannot help. Uh, and again, uh, here you've, we've got uh, some words of uh, Dr. Alina Chafiga. Uh, she leads this counseling center, psychological counseling center of uh, our university. <laughs> Głównym zadaniem poradni 
Psychologicznej Uniwersytetu Wrocławskiego, którą dzisiaj reprezentuję, jest przede wszystkim udzielanie wsparcia i pomocy psychologicznej tym osobom, które znalazły się w trudnej psychologicznej sytuacji, czasami tak trudnej, że ona prowadzi nawet do kryzysu psychicznego. Nasze cele też te, które będziemy chyba jakoś szczególnie eksponować w bieżącym roku akademickim, dotyczą też promocji zdrowia psychicznego. Jesteśmy do tego przygotowani, mamy odpowiednie rozporządzenia, ale także pewne przewodniki, które również pozwolą z tej wiedzy powszechnie korzystać na uniwersytecie. My przyjmujemy osoby, tak jak powiedziałam, w kryzysie psychicznym, czyli takie Osoby, którym trudno jest samotnie już funkcjonować bez tak zwanego profesjonalnego wsparcia. Ale my przyjmujemy także takie osoby, które chcą poprawić jakość swoich relacji społecznych. Jest jeszcze taki obszar, który ja bym bardzo chętnie w tym roku rozwijała i on właściwie został podpowiedziany przez studentów. Tak subtelnie podpowiedziany nam przez studentów. Otóż Okazuje się, że nie wszyscy studenci korzystający z poradni psychologicznej potrzebują tego tak zwanego kontaktu terapeutycznego. To czego potrzebują tak naprawdę? Potrzebują coachingu. I to są te osoby, z którymi pracując w rzeczywistości próbujemy definiować ich cele, pomagamy im odnaleźć najlepsze kierunki własnego działania i, i, funk i funkcjonowania. Oczywiście my także motywujemy do tego, żeby w swoim życiu e, wybierali te najbardziej optymalne drogi zawodowe z, z, i, i drogi, y, drogi życiowe. I proszę Państwa, takim obszarem, który w tym roku będziemy też bardzo rozwijać, też ze względu na zespół, który udało się nam utworzyć, i to jest grupa studentów których będziemy i doktorantów, których będziemy otaczać szczególną troską. To są studenci którzy, i doktoranci, którzy mają orzeczenie o niepełnosprawności. Mamy pełną świadomość tego, iż sprawy, którymi się zajmujemy, mają charakter bardzo subtelny, bardzo poufny i szanując indywidualność każdej osoby, która się do nas zgłasza, Staramy się o pomoc według najlepszych zasad etycznych i standardów zawodowych. Serdecznie zapraszamy. So, as you heard, especially people uh, who uh, like this. Um, I'm still learning, yes. Um, okay, so uh, those uh, of you who have a, a kind of disability are uh, especially warmly welcome um, in this uh, psychological uh, consultation center, but it is not the only support the university wants to give you if you need it. If you need any kind of other support, you should just uh, call or go to the section for students and PhD students with disabilities. There are really various kinds, various sorts of support that we can provide. Another institu institutional support that we have here for you, and you may also need it, is Committee for Equal Treatment. I will tell about it a bit later when uh, talking about procedures you can follow when something happens, like discrimination or unequal treatment. Here you can also um, contact immediately after something happens. You can contact uh, directly Professor Anna Śledzińska Simon, who is a chair of this committee. And now, th I think this is the last film you've got here. Witamy Was wszystkich bardzo serdecznie na Uniwersytecie Wrocławskim. Cieszymy się, że społeczność studentów wraca do nas w nowym roku akademickim. 25 tysięcy studentów to potencjał Uniwersytetu Wrocławskiego, który musi znowu wypełnić się tętniącym życiem, wesołością, radością, więc czekamy na Was z utęsknieniem tak naprawdę. 
trzy najważniejsze rzeczy. Bezpieczeństwo. Będziemy starali się rozpocząć ten rok akademicki maksymalnie, jak to jest możliwe, z wymogami bezpieczeństwa. Pamiętajmy o szczepieniach, o maseczkach i o tym, że dbamy o nasze zdrowie. Różnorodność, bo jest nas bardzo wielu, z wielu krajów, miejscowości, części Polski, ale przede wszystkim 10 różnych wydziałów, mnóstwo kierunków, a więc jest co robić. I wreszcie odwaga. Odważnie podejmujmy wyzwania społeczne, naukowe, badawcze. Bawmy się razem tutaj na Uniwersytecie Wrocławskim. Drzwi otwarte, czekamy na Was, zapraszamy. more about some support you can get. Uh, first one is legal aid. If you need any support of this kind, any assistance of this kind, please remember at our faculty there's University Legal Clinic and students of um, law, uh, also of course supervised uh, by uh, scholars, can uh, really work on your case and give you this help free of charge. And of course students government at our university and students ombudsman who you can call, who you can uh, contact in kind of uh, really any crisis. But uh, what I am really here today is about discrimination and uh, unequal treatment. So I would like to say a few words about this. Um, we know that... Is this already discrimination? <laughs> okay, no problem, I will try my best. So. Uh, discrimination. Now, now you know that discrimination is something that violates our university's via values, yes? So one's dignity and equality. But what, it, what does it really mean for us? We understand this discrimination very, very broadly. That means that every behavior, either it is verbal or non-verbal, either it is directly or indirectly, indirectly um, mm, directed to someone, may be qualified as discrimination if it results in someone being treated in a different way, different, of course, in a negative way, so in a kind of unjust, unfair difference between, between uh, this, how he could be or she could be treated in a normal way, yes? So, so we've got this uh, difference in negative way. And uh, the basis of this difference is one of the features that uh, I will, of course, there's no closed list of these features, but it can be um, age, it can be disability, it can be your sex, it can be sexual orientation, it can be your place of birth, language, beliefs, political views, different kind of features of characteristics that cause in this situation that you are treated worse. This is discrimination. Apart from discrimination um, in general, we can say also something about hate speech, which I think you are familiar with. Uh, this is, uh, and it is not only speech, we call it hate uh, speech, of course, but uh, it is also about all behaviors of nonverbal character. So if somebody encourages violence against an individual or a group of individuals who possess or may possess this feature, one of these that I already talked about, or just promotes it, or excuses it, or just wants to create an atmosphere of hostility against this person in different ways, it, it also can constitute the hate speech. Discrimination, because I talked about uh, already, I told you about those some exemplary, uh, of course, only features, characteristics that may cause different unequal treatment, but you don't really have to possess this feature to be discriminated. It is enough that someone thinks that you possess it, or you are just being supportive to those who possess it. When you are treated in inequally because of that, it is also discrimination, and this is also what we want to protect you from, against. Uh, but, uh, so we've got discrimination, we've got hate speech, we also have harassment, and this is a set of very, very various uh, behaviors that create a hostile, a mm, humiliating sometimes atmosphere around an individual. And it can happen in very, very different ways. So, uh, for example, um, if uh, somebody, um, well, the most, I think, severe I, mm, mm, 
uh, kind of harassment I can think now about is stalking, yes? So contacting somebody against his will, following somebody, and different, uh, mm, very, very different behaviors like this. It is all about creating this atmosphere of being threatened or being uh, treated um, differently. Sometimes it is uh, also this all this information that go that really create, result in creating this atmosphere, are directed to other people, not to the victim her or himself. And the victim gets to know about the reason of being treated this way as the last one. So please, if you, not, not only if you are a victim, but also if you just witnessed something like this, please also contact us. Of course, we cannot um, forget about harassment of a very particular nata, nature, so uh, this uh, sexual harassment, which is not only uh, about all things that you, <laughs> I think, can think of now, but also some um, very, very mm, different behaviors, which for at the first sight we may not think that is harassment, yes? So, for example, if somebody without consent of that person reveal, discloses some information about his or her sexual relationships, or sexual orientation, or gender, or just decides not to use a right pronoun or name uh, in relation to a transgender person, this is also sexual harassment. And this is also something that we would deal with. So, if you are a victim of discrimination, of course we want to protect you, but not only victims are those who we like to contact us, also those who witnessed discrimination, who witnessed uh, any kind of unequal treatment are really very, very warmly uh, welcome. As our ombudsman said, it is about cooperation. If, if we want this university to be equal, to cherish everyone's uh, dignity, we need to protect them together. And it is very, very difficult for a victim to ask for help sometimes. So it is maybe it is easier for somebody else who just witnessed this situation to, to contact us so that we can just look into the case. If you witnessed some improper behaviors, if you are a victim, uh, please just contact us by email and I will rewrite them as, <laughs> as promised later. So it is enough that you send us an email, just briefly describe what happened, what you witnessed, and we will take care of this case. We normally, you can, um, and from, this is very important, that from the first contact, uh, we guarantee full confidentiality. So uh, it is not something that we will go to somebody else without your consent, yes? And um, moreover, about whistleblowers, those who just want to inform us that something is happening and are not victims, if you are afraid that something w may happen to you as a result of contacting us, also, we can uh, protect your anonymity to the end. So, um, we have two different procedures. We have informal procedure and formal one. Uh, both ombudsman and me are for this informal procedure. It means that it is quite uh, flexible, quite informal. We use many methods of restorative justice, justice and we try to find a solution, not only to uh, punish somebody who did something wrong, who didn't uh, behave with accordance to uh, the university's values, but also to fix the situation. Because many, many times it is like um, that the person who did something wrong to another person stays in the, in the same year, stays in the same group, and what really is needed um, from the victim's point of view is to fix the situation, yes? So this is what we try to do. Of course, sometimes it is impossible to do it in an informal way, and the only solution there is is disciplinary procedure, but this is not about it, just um, the core of it. There's also formal procedure, so you just need to submit uh, an application, it's a formal one, to the Committee for Equal Treatment, and then the case is in a, formally, in a formal way also uh, treated. And at the end, if there was a violation of standards and it is um, confirmed by the committee, the committee recommends disciplinary procedure to the rector. Um, and uh, well, as you can see also, um, this uh, informal procedure takes only max of maximum 21 days. 
the other one, formal one, is um, longer. But if you are, for example, not sure which one you would like to follow this uh, this time, <laughs> I hope it, it won't be really necessary, but uh, if it will be something that you need support and you don't know which one to choose, then you can also contact us, contact me or Dr. Gola, and we, will can, we can also support you in choosing which one is um, best for you this time, yes? So should you have any questions, uh, please contact me on my email, and also Dr. Gola, of course, and uh, I hope there won't be many cases which will just um, push you to contact me because there will be no unequal treatment, no acts of discrimination um, uh, that you can witness. So thank you very much, and I think this Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, we'll be conducting a course together this year, so <laughs> uh, you will have a, a lot of opportunities to contact uh, either me or, or, or a lot of venues to contact me or, or Dr. Uh, Nowicka. Uh, two things before uh, Dr. Deba will start on uh, start with his pr presentation because those are the issues that has create that have created a, a bit of a, a ruckus, so to speak. Uh, First thing is this, uh, do not worry if you receive emails in Polish from director's office uh, or from any other university uh, mm, cell or, or uh, department. Uh, your email is a part of the whole university system, right? So if somebody sends an email to everyone, it also goes to you. But all relevant information, all relevant information to you, all, all important uh, information for you will always be translated. So just fresh uh, emails in Polish. Uh, don't worry, uh, you won't miss anything uh, significant. And the second problem, uh, well, the whole USOS, uh, meaning our IT system, uh, there will be some uh, mistakes in it. Uh, we have been trying to eliminate them for as long as I'm working here, basically. Uh, it's not our system, unfortunately, so we do not control it. And uh, there is a statement that some of the classes are in Polish language. It's not true. Everything is in English, uh, except for maybe the Polish language course, right? Uh, I don't know how they conduct it, actually. Uh, uh, but everything is in English. D if you have uh, uh, information in the USOS that some course is conducted in Polish, just disregard it. Do, do, do not worry. Everything will be in English. Okay, so go on. Thank you, Mr. Dean, <coughs> uh, for your important information, and Dr. Dobromiła uh, Nowicka as well. Uh, let me start my presentation then. Just give me a sec. I hope my mic is high enough, all right. So that's the website of our faculty that's also in English. Uh, my presentation is already there, so we are able to know a lot there. If you wish, you can free to make some notes, but like I told you, it's possible to download that as well. Uh, okay, welcome presentation, it's over here. Let's open it. Here we go. All right. So like I told you at the beginning, my name is Mariusz Dybo and I'm a coordinator of a few programs like the LLM and BBA, Bachelor of Business and Administration, the vote we have met already at the beginning, so we may skip it. And here's some uh, vital information about me. So the e email address, if we have any issues, any problem regarding it with that, you may contact me anytime. But like I told you, it would be nice first, if there are some issues related with the courses, first contact your lecturer. Yeah? Then if you feel that all the lecturer says, I'm not capti uh, uh, 
uh, ca capable of that, please then contact the student's office. If you feel that maybe answer is improper or uh, they didn't uh, solve your issues, then please contact me. If afterwards you feel that also my answer is improper as well, then contact uh, a vice dean here for teaching or vice dean for the students affair, Professor Przygotsky. Yeah, I hope you will not go to the main dean. Yeah, okay, or director. And uh, just the information, as you can see, so my email, yeah, uh, and the, all the emails from the other employees will be constructed like this. So the first name, full stop, second, uh, the last name, uh, at and the uwr.edu.pl. Yeah, so there's my web page that you're able to know about on the information and that presentation as well. And uh, the office hours uh, in that room, uh, 203C in the C building, because mostly I hope you already know that this is the D building. Yeah, across the street we've got the A building and there is the corridor with the connection from the A building to the B building and the C building. And mostly there is the, our campus here at the Faculty of Law and all the lectures you're supposed to have here maybe except some language course and some physical education. Yeah, everything's supposed to be he here and the very uh, city uh, center of our city close to our, uh, maybe I shouldn't mention the pubs and other issues, yeah, because you came here uh, for uh, for study. And also some information, as you can see, uh, about uh, Dr. Uh, Alicia Shelska. She is a coordinator of the AO, MME, and the criminal justice, and some information how you are able to uh, to meet her uh, to to meet her as well. Uh, that's our web page uh, that we are able to find out some information about also Erasmus coordinators about ourselves. And you are able to find out here the programs. Yeah, so the regular students, the full time, if you click it, you will see the BBA, AO, uh, MME, and so on, and so on, and so on. So we are able to see the curriculum. If you cl click it on, on, on any name of the course, you will see who's supposed to run it, yeah? uh, how long it takes, how many hours, uh, what is the content, and so on, and so on. Yeah? Also, that information you are able to, to, to see via, uh, via, uh, via your mobiles. That's the academic calendar, maybe you are far familiar with. Yeah, so the pre preparatory course of Polish, that's already after you. Uh, the orientation days, right now, yeah, the October 5th. Uh, then the lectures, we start from tomorrow, if you are not familiar with that, yeah, so please be ready. And there are some exams time, so the session, recit exam, I hope we will not use it, but nevertheless, yeah, there is another opportunity who loves some subjects so much they'd like to, to have, uh, you know, another meeting with the lecturer, okay, we provide that opportunity for you. Then the Christmas holidays, the other holidays, sometimes will be director days because some important events, director may announce a free day or something uh, like that. Uh, and then we've got the summer semesters. So that information could be important for you if you came from different countries and you plan simply to, you know, come home or something like that. Yeah, so please, uh, please, uh, please, uh, please, please check it then. And there is this, as, as you can see below, uh, uh, um, the link to the proper website that we are able to, to check it. And now the most important issues that like the, the vice dean already talked about, USOS. Uh, so this is the, uh, the student service online. Through that you have the access to the, all the lectures, you're able to see the grades, you're able to see what are your lecturers, what is your timetable, and so on and so on. Who has already the, the, the access to the USOS? Please raise your hand. Great majority. Who doesn't have the access to that? Raise your hand. Few persons. So that's the issue what you're supposed to do at the very beginning. Please check, please check your information package that you have received from the international office. Yeah? There will be the separate page how to have the access to, to the USOS. And already it's, re it's, re it's written there, yeah? how to have the access. So just type the page, as you can see, ussos.uni.ros.pl, then uh, click uh, forgotten password and follow the, follow the instruction. This is the most important issue. Thanks to that you will see whoever uh, uh, you already um, have the access to the courses, yeah, where you are admitted to attend the courses, what are your grades, uh, what is the timetable, when you start, who is your lecturer, you are able to, to, to send the email, to, to receive the emails. So this is a very important issue, to have the access to that. Of course, you are able to check it on your, for your inter, uh, via the internet, so for your, uh, via your mobile, smartphone, uh, tablet, uh, computer, laptop, whatever. Yeah? But that's extremely important. So, for example, you're able to see the timetable that will be like this. Yeah? So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, whether it's class or the lecture, yeah? uh, in which hall, who will be the lecturer. So if you click it on that, you will some see some additional in in information. Uh, so that's, that's uh, quite important. Please mind about it. What's, what's more important? You know, because of the pandemics, uh, the lectures will be online. Yeah? All the lectures, because huge number of the people uh, would like to you know, uh, preserve that situation. 
to make pandemics DAO, so that means all the lectures will be online via the MS Teams. This is the software that's used also supposed to have the access, I'll discuss it about it later, because also it's very important, yeah? And then we've got also the exercises in classes. That will be the hybrid, so that means for those who are already in Poland at our beautiful city, uh, you will go to the room physically, yeah, and uh, they, uh, the, the class will be run for you, and also will record that and offer it online for the students for, for some different issues uh, may not simply show, show up here because, you know, the, the, there are no flights or the pandemics uh, or the, uh, the, the consulates or the uh, em embassies are simply closed and so on and so on. Yeah? So that will be uh, that way. So as you can see, it's being bold. Do not worry, please, because if someone cannot come, we'll receive full online education. That's my words for, for the students who are listening it right, right now online. Okay? All right. Uh, Okay, some of you uh, are not, will not be able to come, uh, mm -mm, but they are obliged to actively uh, take part in those uh, classes and the lectures. Uh, sometimes it may be impossible uh, because of the different time zone, because they are located, you know, we, run s we start here at, at 9 a.m. At, at your home country, it will be in the middle of the night, uh, and we do not, you know, push you to wake up in the middle of the night and make a time, but if you wish, you are free to go, yeah, no problem. But we are going to record that, uh, that lectures and, and, and classes for you. Yeah, so please also mind uh, about that, and then in most convenient time you are able to, uh, uh, to, um, to, 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 to see it. If there's the problem with the time zone, you're supposed to contact your lecturer and inform that person about that and look for the guidance, yeah? because maybe you are not able to attend the classes, and maybe attendance is important for the final grade, so that's why please uh, uh, in, in inform about that your, uh, your lecturer. Uh, there will be some materials, some videos, uh, some presentations. You are free to watch it, yeah, but only you, since you are the member of our community. So you cannot share it. Yeah? Please mind about it, right? So that's, that's another because there could be some, uh, some actions related, related with that. And now, uh, like I told you, if you like to, uh, for sure, you have the uh, ac access at least to, to the lectures. It will be provided online. So they will be done mostly via the MS Teams, yeah? so Microsoft Teams uh, software. Uh, <coughs> So, you're supposed to receive the information, how to create your account at our servers. So, after your first last name, you will have that uwr.edu.pl. And then, uh, you're supposed to go to that link, and on the left, you will see some different software, like the PowerPoint, Excel, uh, uh, Teams as well, Microsoft Teams, uh, for, the, uh, for the online uh, teaching, and other programs for, the, let's say, the tests, yeah? So, uh, please mind that and have and have the access uh, to that. Uh, our IT department will uh, prepare the list of the students for each and every class, and you're supposed to be, uh, let's say, automatically the part of that. If not, please check uh, whether you are. If not, look at the USOs, see who is your lecturer, send the email, yeah, asking please add me to the group because I unfortunately do not have the contact to that and the access, uh, or send to the administration, to the, uh, to, to the, stu to the student's office asking for, uh, for help, uh, that, that person uh, for sure will, uh, will help you. Then the student ID card, also quite important because that allows you to have the discounts, let's say to the public transport, for example, that might be important. And that's also uh, mm, confirms that you are really you, yeah? Because there will be the, the photo of you and uh, that, uh, that student's ID, probably they are printing right now, yeah? And uh, our employees, the ladies from the student's office will tell you about where you are able to receive it. Probably we, we divide you in some groups, tell you when and where, and you are able to, uh, to, uh, to grab it. So these, these are qu quite important one, yeah? Please mind about it. Uh, the student's office, yeah? So like I told you, the dean told us at the beginning, uh, Ms. Małgorzata Guzek and Ms. Uh, Agata Mojnczyk, they uh, are free. Uh, to answer your questions, we've got the emails here. Uh, the student's office is located across the street in the A building. Uh, uh, so you just go inside through the main door, turn right, go to the end of the corridor, and there is the student service office. There's a great banner over there, so you cannot miss it. Yeah. Please might, at the beginning, that might be some cues, like usual. Yeah. Uh, do not afraid, yeah. Uh, that's only at the beginning, yeah. And afterwards, 
uh, uh, probably you don't have to wait. If you have some issues, just send the email, yeah, and uh, you will receive uh, we will receive uh, the proper uh, the, the, the proper answer. So that's the information about the stu student's office. Yeah, like I told you at the beginning, some question mostly related with the course. Ask your teacher. Yeah, if there be some more administrative technical issue, okay, ask the stu the student service office. Uh, if you still feel that mm, it's not enough, yeah, uh, then ask your coordinator, me or Miss or Dr. Alicia Shelska. If still think that okay, but that answer is improper from Dr. Mariusz Dybal, okay, don't be uh, afraid to, to go to the vice dean, uh, Professor Machaj or Professor uh, Przygotski. Uh, then you may go to the dean and to the rector. Yeah. I hope that situation will not, uh, will not happen. Nevertheless, that's the, uh, uh, the hierarchy and uh, the ad administrative structure. Two semester course of Polish language, according to the law, all the uh, students from abroad has to take part of that. Yeah, so probably you received the proper information already uh, about that. Uh, if not, uh, please uh, visit uh, that link. There will be some placement test that simply allows you to, uh, to be divided in some groups. And uh, that will be later uh, added to your timetable. That's supposed to attend Polish language at, let's say, Monday at 9 a.m. or maybe Tuesday at 10 a.m. at group that, that, and that. Okay? So that's an that's inf uh, important issue. Uh, there are some information about the public transport first. Yeah. Uh, so since you are the students, uh, you, you are able, you are allowed uh, to buy a discount reduced ticket. So mostly half a price. But you have to confirm your identity via the student ID. Yeah. That student ID confirms your identity that you are the students and you are able to, uh, to buy that. And that might be the single trip, like uh, 2.30 or if you live in the, the dormitory, maybe you just need, I don't know, uh, 30 minutes to come here or 15 minutes. So that, uh, uh, that fare could be even cheaper, as you can see. But mostly students, they buy uh, the whole semester ticket. Yeah, like uh, what we got, 245 yeah, for five months. And you can uh, pick up any bus, any tram, any hour. Yeah, so probably that is the most convenient uh, issue. Yeah, think about it. There's also a link about, about the tickets that you may check it on your own. Uh, urban card, yeah, so that's that issue that if you would like to buy this five semester ticket, yeah, uh, you are able to buy that urban card uh, that I might try to find out. It you know, looks like, like the credit card, but there is uh, some information coded there that, that uh, if you go to the public transport, that some officer may check if you already validated your ticket, so just show the urban card, it's checking with some device, it's confirmed, everything is fine. Yeah, so that I think that's most convenient issues. Uh, your Uber card also could be coded on your student ID. Yeah, so you don't need twice, you don't need two documents, the one could be enough. Yeah, so think about it. That's the opportunity, it's, 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 it's up to you. Then the foreign language course. Also in your curriculum, you are able to pick up some for foreign language. Yeah, so another issue, they receive the information uh, from, uh, from them, uh, just probably within the week. Uh, if not, uh, uh, contact the student service office or go directly to that website and you will see some additional information related with that. Sport classes, yeah, another according to the curriculum you will attend the, the, the sport classes. Uh, so we've got like uh, 36 sport disciplines, most of them are for free. Maybe except you will pick up some fancy one that maybe you need to pay a little bit. There are also some sport camps. Uh, during the summer as well, you are able to attend, and once again, some information related, uh, detailed information related with that. The bank account, I think, will be nice, uh, well, let's say for sure, more convenient to open a bank account here in, 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 in Poland. Uh, you, you just need a passport. Yeah? Go to any, any branch, to any office, uh, just say they'd like to open a, a bank account and just show the passport, there will be enough. Yeah? And of course, there will be all of them nowadays they are the online ones, so you, you may, you know, just, you need the smartphone just to follow. Uh, you receive some card, probably credit or the debit, and you are able to, to, to use it to pay it. Or just use your smartphone as well, yeah, tr treat it that way. Here's some information about the, the, the nearest one on, on, on the street close to the university, but you, you may pick up any you wish, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, some healthcare, so uh, 
Mm, if you're the students from the EU uh, and you bought and your home country that's also valid here in Poland, uh, if you came outside the EU, probably you have to buy it and most students do that, they buy that at your home country, yeah, valid abroad. Yeah? And after a year, you are able to buy it here in Poland, for example. Yeah? Or you may re re renew it, just con check which option is, 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 is cheaper. Yeah? So that's another information uh, related uh, uh, with that and some detailed inf information. Uh, here's some uh, information about the uh, medical centers, if something will be wrong. I hope they will not, but nevertheless still. Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't be the problem if you feel sick and you go to the doctor, the doctor is supposed to speak English. That's, that, that, should, that shouldn't be the problem. Yeah. So just tell what's, what's wrong with you and so on and so on, and uh, the medicine will be prescribed for you and so on and so on. So that's the issue. Uh, Please mind that you became the students. Probably joining the library will be quite important issues. Yeah, in order, you know, to spread your knowledge, maybe to write some essays, to have some access to the databases, and so on and so on. Yeah. So here another information: uh, how to join the library. You may join our, let's say, faculty library or the whole university main library, and so on and so on. Yeah. So please uh, think about that. You're going to study here for three years. Some of you for two years. Some of them maybe after three years, after bachelor, will take up the master five years. Maybe some of you will love us so much they're going to, stu to uh, study more than five years. Okay, we can accept it, no problem. Um, then emergency numbers for uns uh, uh, unforeseen cases. So general one is uh, 112, yeah. Uh, and through that number you may call the police, uh, you may call the, uh, the fire department, uh, uh, the ambulance service and so on, so on. Or the direct one for the police fire and so on and, and, and so on. Yeah, free of charge. Yeah, free of charge. So, but I hope it will not be ne necessary. Some information about the, about your data IDs. Maybe it's good simply to print them out. On, sorry, to make the copy. Yeah, if something will be wrong, then, okay. Maybe it's not you know the uh, the tough proof, but still that might be helpful. Yeah. So just uh, this is my advice: to make the copy of your passport and and and, and your IDs if the original will be lost. Yeah, uh, that might be helpful. Welcome to Poland. That's one of our up from our faculty. Yeah, so please think about it. Maybe it will be nice to download it on, on your smartphone because they will show you there's the map of, the, of our faculty and you just pick up, okay, I'm supposed to have at nine at the whole C.3. So they will show you just w wh where to go. Yeah, there's, okay, I'm standing here. So there will be the map uh, for you where to go in order because at the beginning, you know, this faculty is the building that could be the maze for you. Yeah, but with that, they will be pretty sure the map. Uh, you are able to find out the person you need, so the lecturer, what is the, the office hours, uh, where the uh, office is located, yeah, so that may be you, you useful for you. How to find the library, yeah, uh, vital for, for the students, some other culture in information all also uh, are there and some Polish phrases yeah, that might be important. Yeah, someone will not make a joke for you, some Polish students. Yeah. All right. Uh, another app uh, from our faculty, another one that gives you info to the programs, news, expenses, street view, uh, the virtual tour uh, through our uh, faculty. Yeah, so you may see already see the buildings, main halls virtually. Yeah, it's it's offer for you some another information about the enrollment. Maybe not for you, maybe for the people you know. Yeah, uh, free to go. Institutional office, probably you you already been there, yeah, because that's supposed to be your first steps if you came here. Yeah, go to the institutional office after your arrival to re uh, receive the information package with some piece of the papers in the information, mostly how to log into USUS, yeah, because that's the important issues. Uh, so uh, if you have some issues related with that, with your staying here at Poland, yeah, you should go uh, to, to to them mostly and our student service office also uh, uh, cooperate with uh, with the international office. And uh, you will find out their information about the accommodation for the first year student. You're supposed to live in the dormitories, but it's up to you about your arrival, what's to do after arrival. There are uh, frequently asked questions. There are some jungle books, some information that you're able to, that could be useful uh, f uh, for you. So please check maybe the links that links or maybe the other that you find important because of course you, you may ask us, I mean me or uh, the student survey office, but mostly probably you find the answers here. So please first maybe it would be nice to check it. Then if still something is unclear, then contact the student service office or the proper coordinator of you if or if you are dissatisfied with the, the advice. All right. 
Okay. Okay, so maybe some video in the end. That's going to be the last slide. Uh, let's see. I think we have to close the presentation. Or just duplicate the screen. Okay, let's go. I'm not ready yet. No. Google Internetowe Rewolucje oferuje ponad 40 bezpłatnych kursów online. Zdobywaj nowe umiejętności, na przykład podstawy marketingu internetowego i rozwijaj karierę. Zarejestruj się i zacznij korzystać z platformy Google Internetowe Rewolucje. Now the YouTube. All right. Now, now supposed to work. So that will be the pretty much the end of that. So uh, you came a, mainly came here for study, yeah, but also. Uh, have some fun, socialize, meet people, broaden your horizons, make new friends, and we try to offer that. And I hope you'll find out a place here for you. Any questions maybe related to that, what we told you, or maybe you've got some other questions. We've got some time here, like I told you. Anyone? Yes, please. Yes, all lectures, lectures online. Uh, I mean, you'd like to attend physically? Uh, you know, this is the general regulation. It's not what we, you know, just uh, imagined. This, this is the, the, the rule because of the pandemic situation. And we will not simply to gather a lot of the people in one hall. So that's why the lectures are, are online. But this is your ongoing situation. I hope that within a month, maybe, or weeks, if the number of the people with the pandemics will go down, down, and down, the rector and, uh, you know, the country officers, government will change the decision and we. We tried, you know, to see you because we, we hope really to, to, to see you, to meet you, because we feel that's uh, the issue how the study is supposed to be. But this is something that we, we simply we cannot influence in influences us. And that's why, like I told you, the lectures online, but classes hybrid. So if you're here in Poland, Wrocław, you attend the classes physically, in person. The other who cannot come, yeah, simply for them will be the online classes as well. Okay? Any other question maybe? Yes, please. Yes, I think the mandatory. Yeah, mandatory. Except the lamb. Okay. So the for the bachelor students, mandatory. For the master students, not. All right. Yes, please. All right, any other questions maybe? Maybe we, they will show up in the future, yeah. Check the presentation. If you feel there are some questions, do not hesitate to send it to the student service offer or to me. And now I'm giving the floor to the representative. Uh, one suggestion that? regarding physical education uh, and signing up. If you are interested in a particular kind of physical activity, if 
the signing up starts at midnight, be there at midnight, <laughs> don't wait. Uh, the places uh, are booked pretty pretty quickly, so uh, be ready to, to, uh, to start uh, at the earliest possible moment. Also, the registration for physical education takes place every semester. So if you are not able to register this semester, you can register in the future as well. So that's so you know. Okay, so just very shortly. My name is Małgorzata Guzek, and this is Agata Muinczek, and we work at Student Service Office. Uh, and about the emails that the Deputy Dean already spoke of, the most important emails will be sent by us, so by me and by Agata, and they will always be in English. So all the emails you receive in Polish, they're probably just general information for all the students. The most important information regarding your programs uh, in detail will be sent by me or by Agata. And probably the first, uh, the most important email that you will receive very soon will be about enrollment for elective classes. So this enrollment will take place later in October and you will receive an email with detailed instructions also. Uh, about the student service office, we'll also send you the working hours. And as Dr. Debo has said, in October, they probably will be some queues. But if you want to avoid those queues, you can always set up a meeting for concrete hours with us. So there's also a possibility. And also a lot of cases can be uh, deal with remotely right now. So first send us an email and we'll see if the case can be dealt with remotely or if we have to set up uh, a meeting for this. After the uh, ceremony ends, we'll remain here if you have any more questions. And we also have the student cards for you, for some of you, because um, the more students' cards are being printed. So if you can stay after ceremony, you will give out the student cards that we have. Thank you. Okay, so I think we officially will end the ceremony. Thank you very much for being with us, uh, physically, in person, or uh, via the, uh, and the online. Uh, like I told you, uh, we may go and speak with the student survey office representatives because they already told us that some some uh, students' ID. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe we can form the queue, come to and check. Once again, thank you very much for your patience, for coming here, and well, see you soon. Goodbye. Uh, if anyone wishes to ask me any question in a more informal setting, if someone is shy or has just an individual problem, I'm here, so you can come up and, and ask me anything. Thank you. And see you tomorrow, the first class. <laughs>